Okay, we're recording Packet Tracer. We'll be performing a uh, initial switch configuration. Um, first thing that we're going to be doing, or well, what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, doing the host name, the console password, the TVY password, the privilege seal, mode password, the secret password. Uh, the IP address for v VLAN 1 interface and the default gateway. Okay, first we need to grab a console cable to connect to our router from our PC. Connect to the console. Then we'll go to our desktop, go to our terminal. Activate our router, hit enter. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we are acti not a router, it's our switch. And then we will set the host name first. First, we have to enable. And then we have to config. And then we will need to do our host name, and it will be customer switch, and then yes, we are done there. Now we're going to configure from global mode configuration. We're going to set our password. So where we're at right now, we'll set our password. We'll go enable. Space password. And then we'll type in our password. Enter. Now we're going to do a secret password. So I'm going to enable again. This time it will be secret. And then we'll write our password for it. And hit enter. So now our password should be set. Now we will be configuring the console password from the gold configuration and the console line. First we'll do the console line. So we we'll type in line space console space zero. Enter. Now we, from there, we will do our password for it. So I go pass word space Cisco. Enter. Uh, login. And then we'll hit exit. Now we'll be done. Now we'll do a config for the VTY. So now we'll go align VTY zero space fifteen. Enter. Now we'll do our password. Enter. Login. Enter. And then exit again. Now step five, we'll configure an IP address on the internet 
VLAN 1. So we're in global configuration and we will go enter face VLAN space 1. Enter and go IP address face 192.168.1.5 space with subnet mask of 255.255.255 zero enter and then we'll go no shut oh that put our space in there no shut down no oh no shut down there we go then we'll exit the XIT. Oops. Have to go enter and then exit. And then for step six, we will configure the default gateway. And we got to type in our IP default. and then put in our our uh, lovely IP address for it which is 192.168.1.1 and hit enter Now we need to switch to the customer. This, the customer switch should now be able to ping the ISP. So if we go uh, ping. Oh, I need to get out of there. I go end and enter and ping two o nine dot one six five dot two o one dot one ten and hit enter. Okay, something happened there. Didn't want me to ping it. Try it again. Two oh nine. No, one six five. Dot two oh one. Dot ten. Yeah, and we got it. And that is all. Thank you for watching.